Ladies and gentlemen, it is Eben here again today. Today, I'll be talking to you about the topic, how to pay for college, given rising tuition, level cost, and student debt. Picture this. A bright high school graduate filled with dreams of pursuing higher education and embarking on a journey of knowledge and self-discovery. However, as they excitedly open their acceptance letter to their dream college, a shadow looms over their excitement. The daunting reality of soaring tuition costs and the scepter of student debt. This scenario is not mere hypocritical. It is a stark reminder of the challenges many of us face today. I will share with you some challenges posed by rising college tuition and student debt, choosing the right school and program, and I will provide practical strategies and insights for paying for college. First, let us look at some challenges posed by rising college tuition and student debt. The challenges posed by rising college tuition and student debt are multifaceted and deeply impactful, affecting individuals, families, and the broader society. Let's delve into some of the key challenges that arise from these escalating issues. One, financial accessibility. The most prominent challenge is the increasing difficulty in affording a college education. As tuition costs continue to rise, higher education becomes a distant dream for many aspiring students who lack the financial means to cover these expenses. Two, student debt burden. Escalating tuition forces students to rely heavily on loans, leading to substantial levels of student debt upon graduation. This debt burden can hang over individuals for years or even decades, affecting their financial stability and life choices. 3. Delayed financial milestones The weight of student debt often delays significant life milestones, such as buying a home, getting married, or starting a family. Graduates must first focus on repaying their loans before making these important decisions. 4. Mental health impact The constant stress of managing debt can take a toll on students' mental, health, uh, mental well-being. Anxiety about loan payment and financial uncertainty can contribute to increased stress and even impact academic performance. 5. Undermined innovation Heavy student debt can discourage graduates from pursuing entrepreneurial ventures or innovative careers as they opt for more stable, higher paying jobs to manage their financial obligations. 6. Pressure on educational institutions. As students and families struggle with tuition costs, educational institutions face pressure to provide financial aid and manage their budgets. This can impact program offering and the overall quality of education. 7. Impact on society. The collective impacts of student debts can influ influence social dynamics. Graduates may feel less empowered to contribute to community and social initiatives, impacting volunteerism and civic engagement. These are some of the challenges posed by higher college level, higher college cost levels. Further, you have to choose the right school and program. Choose your school wisely. In-state public schools or a public school in a surrounding state that has reciprocity for reduced tuition costs much less than an out-of-state public or private school. If you are not satisfied with the quality of the school of the state school where you live, consider moving to a state with a school that you prefer and establish residency. To establish residency, you will have to meet strict requirements that vary by state and sometimes even by the school. But this may be worth it for the savings. Most states require you to live in the state for at least one year to be legible, but there could be other criteria to meet. Also, consider the cost of living. Keep in mind that housing and other living costs will vary by location. If you choose to live off campus, your living expenses are much are typically much less. Geographically, an apartment in New York City would be much pricier than an apartment in the Midwest, and the college where you obtain your undergraduate degree can sometimes influence where you 
will end up working and living after school. Another thing to consider when estimating college tuition is the type of program you are pursuing. The length of the program will obviously affect the total price and will as the as with the degree level. For example, the cost of credit for a bachelor's program will typically be less than that of a master's program at most schools. Also, an accelerated program allows highly motivated students to save time and money by accelerating their accelerating the speed at which they complete their degrees. Lastly, here are some practical strategies and insights for paying for college. One, realistic budgeting and reducing personal expenses. The Institute of International Education on in the Open Doors 2026 2016 report indicate that about 73.9% of international students really receive the majority of their funds from sources outside of the United States, including personal and family sources, as well as assistance from their home country government or universities. Since personal finances play such an important role, it is essential that international students develop sound financial habits at such as establishing realistic budgets and reducing personal expenses. When, crea when creating their budget, students need to consider educational costs and living expenses. 2. Cutting costs. Living expenses include the cost of housing, transportation, food, clothing, books, and other personal items. These expenses can vary greatly in the United States, depending on the region of the country where the student chooses to study. For instance, the South or the Midwest tends to be less expensive than the East. Another alternative is to attend a university that offers an accelerated program which allows transfer credits or advanced standing for students for studies completed in one's home country. Also, other types of accelerated programs will allow students to take courses at less expensive community colleges during the summer or take additional number of courses beyond what is required throughout the semester for the same price. Three, financial aid, research scholarships, and grants. Due to the high cost of study in the U.S., many students will need to find alternative, alternatives to relying on personal funds to finance their education. And, de and therefore, they should research what financial aid and employment options are available. Financial aid consists of two types. Free aid, typically known as scholarship grants or fellowships. Scholarship can appear in places where you least expect. This type of aid tends to be highly competitive and requires excellent academic records. Possible resources for free aid include government, corporate and institutional sources in one's home country and the United States. Many governments will provide funding for students, particularly those studying math, science, or technology. In, in, education, in addition, some employers may be willing to fund their employees' studies. Since students are not required to pay back this money, students should apply for as many scholarships and fellowships for which they are eligible and competitive. Apply to schools where you have unique qualities they seek. For example, you might have an ethnic background that a school is looking for, a compelling academic expertise, or excel at a sports or musical instrument that makes you stand out. Schools that see you as a valuable addition due to an unusual skill or have bequests that support students with your characteristics may provide a scholarship. Also, look for national level grants, such as the Pell Grant, which are awarded to students that have financial needs to see if you apply, to see if you qualify to apply. Another tactic is to work in a field where you may be paid to go to college. Some companies provide tuition reimbursement and support for advanced training. So does the 
military and some of those benefits are also available to spouses and dependents of service members. Four, part-time employment, especially for international students. For many international students, part-time employment is another option to finance higher education. Talk to your foreign student advisor upon completion of the first year of your studies as international students. As international students, may apply to work on or off campus for up to 20 hours a week. Likewise, the university's international student advisor is an excellent resource for information on jobs available to students and for information on how to apply for work permit. Five, loans. In general, when seeking loans, students need to determine how much they will need to borrow and how they will repay the loan prior to applying for one. A general guideline is to avoid borrowing from a commercial bank and never borrow more than absolutely necessary. Making informed decisions about educational loans can save students thousands of dollars in the future. In conclusion, in essence, addressing the multifaceted challenge of paying for college amidst escalating tuition levels and the scepter of student debt requires a multi-pronged multi -pronged approach. By understanding the hurdles posed by financial constraints, making informed decisions about schools and uh, the program choices, and embracing practical strategies like seeking financial aid, scholarship, and budgeting wisely, we equip ourselves to navigating this complex terrain. With this little speech, I think I've given you a lot of information to be able to navigate through college, your higher college level, and how to pay your way through it. Thank you very much and have a great day.